Why do you look like that? Twins. Da -da -da! Woo! Hey! So recently I've been thinking a lot about my childhood and things that I did when I was a child. Now they're probably only weird to me because I think I'm the only one that did them. But knowing the internet, everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, I did that too. I find that a lot of these are centered around the computer, and I think if I didn't have the computer, I would've had a more normal childhood, but I literally grew up on a computer with dial-up. I used to be obsessed with this video game called The Sims. Not The Sims 4, not The Sims 3, The Sims OG. You had to, that was a heart. <laughs> I had to install this onto my brother's computer with like eight discs. It took eight CDs to install it. If you lost one of those CDs, you couldn't play The Sims anymore. You were just screwed, like utterly screwed. On The Sims, you could have a radio and it would play music. And if you know anything about The Sims, they don't speak English. Like they don't speak normal English. They speak like Sim language. I memorized these songs in Sim language, okay? Hashtag bilingual at nine years old. <laughs> My friend Monique still brings it up to this day. Whenever I listen to, there's this song by Paramore and there was like an exact replica of it in The Sims. And I would just sing it in Sim language and not English. But I didn't know what they were saying, but I did because I knew the original song. And I would just open up Sims and listen to The Sims radio instead of regular music. I don't know. My music taste has probably improved, I think. I'd like to think. I used to make Club Penguin music videos. Back in the day, before Disney bought it, Club Penguin was amazing. I used to play it back when I was in like fifth and fourth grade. I had a YouTube channel centered around Club Penguin and it was just great. I had a hundred subscribers. Hashtag famous on Club Penguin. And it was a cool thing back on the day to go onto Club Penguin and film your penguin saying the words to songs and then edit it in like Windows Movie Maker <laughs> into a music video. Insert clip here of one of my favorite ones I ever made. Now, I didn't get really famous off of my Club Penguin music videos, but my friend Monique, when she would go on Club Penguin sometimes, she would get swarmed by other penguins because she was actually Club Penguin famous. I didn't care about being YouTube famous back in the day. I wanted to be Club Penguin famous. I used to talk to the AIM bots like they were my friends because I had no friends on AIM except for Monique. A lot of you guys that were born in around like 2005 will not know what AIM is and that is very weird to think about. AIM, AOL Incident Messenger, it is what everyone used to talk to each other because cell phones weren't a thing that everyone had, surprisingly, I know. Whoa! <laughs> and there were these things you could add on there that were bots and they weren't real people, but you could like IM them like they were real people. And I used to talk to them because I had no real friends that would talk to me. I used to go around the neighborhood with Monique and steal hundreds of fruits off of people's fruit trees. Now, if you don't live in a place that has like citrus trees prevalent everywhere and like pomegranate trees, then you probably didn't even have the opportunity to do this. But I, for a short period of my life, lived in a suburban neighborhood where everyone had a lemon, a lime, an orange, a grapefruit, or a pomegranate tree in their front yard. And we we would just go around into people's yards and steal the dang fruits. We called ourselves the fruit bandits and we would just bring them home to my mom and be like, here. Sometimes we try to get the biggest lemon and we'd get lemons that are like this big and just cut them open and just eat them. Like we were weird, like we were really weird. I used to play Grand Theft Auto. Now that's not weird at all, probably, but I didn't do it right at all. I didn't like video games like that. Like I didn't really know how because I was so young. So I would just cheat code it up. I think it was on like PlayStation or something. I would just cheat code monster trucks in on top of giant buildings and parachutes and drive the monster trucks off of the giant buildings and then try to parachute out of them and like not die. I don't know if this is just a, I was a girl and I didn't know how to play video games or the fact that like, I still don't like to play it rigidly. Like I still would rather do that than actually play the actual game. Like just drive around and jump off buildings and like not die. Like jump, oh my God, flying as far out into the ocean as you can and then jumping out of the plane and like trying to swim your way back, like literally me. I used to put Taco Bell hot sauce on my creamsicle popsicles. When I was little, I used to eat an orange with a saladito in the middle, and it was like a really good like afternoon snack. And so I thought, well, if the spicy from the saladito tastes good in the orange, it'd probably taste good to put mild sauce on my orange creamsicles. And then I just always ate them like that. If I could find a vegan orange creamsicle, to this day, I would probably still put Taco Bell mild sauce on it. And lastly, I legitimately think I thought I was a wizard for a couple of years. I grew up with the Harry Potter books and the Harry Potter movie, although I never read the books because I was a little very dyslexic, could not read a book that big. And I was obsessed with it. 
obsessed is not even the right word. I was engrossed in it. I legitimately thought I was a wizard with my friend. Her name's Claudia. Hi. Um, we would just go into her treehouse house play fort thing in her backyard and I had the Harry Potter soundtrack on CD and we would just pop it into our little like Mary Kate and Ashley CD player and just play the And we would just play there and make potions and be like Wingardium Leviosa It's Leviosa not Leviosa Like why? Obviously nothing was happening but we legitimately were like we're a wizard you're a wizard Harry I don't get it. I really don't get it. I would just lay on the back of my room in my bed with my canopy and just play the sound and just just point at things. Just be like, mm, move. <clears throat> You're gonna move. I would just stare at the doorknob and just go like this and be like, You're gonna open! You're gonna open! I, I honestly think a mixture of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Matilda, and Harry Potter all combined. I was like, I am magic. Bitch, no! You know magic. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. Those are some weird things I did as a kid. It would be awesome if you could comment some weird things that you did as a kid in the comments. And if you did any of these things that I did, please share because I want to know that I'm not alone and that we all were freaking weird. But yeah, this is your first time my videos. Please remember to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you actually like this video, please remember to like it by clicking the thumbs up. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Fwah. Fwah.